Do you have too many bagels in the fridge and don't know what to do with them? Let me show you my three favorite bagel recipes. Round one, bacon and egg breakfast bagel. Are you ready? Let's start by cooking some sizzling bacon. Start by putting your bacon on an aluminum line pan. Then place your bacon into a 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. And watch it sizzle away. Once your bacon has been cooked to crispy perfection, place your bacon onto a paper towel and blot that fat. Let's put the bacon away for now. Okay, let's crack one egg into a bowl and let's start whisking away, my friends. Now over at the frying pan, spray some non-stick cooking oil and turn your stove to medium heat. Let's pour our egg onto the fry pan and try your best to shape that egg into a shape of a bagel. Don't worry about making it perfect, no one will notice. Now pour about a teaspoon of water into your egg and put a lid on it for about 30 seconds. This technique, no flip is required. Let's take that egg off that pan. And it's now time for the best part. Pick your very favorite bagel. And it's toasting time. Absolute toasting perfection. Do you like to butter your bagels? Because I sure do. Here comes some American cheese. Your custom shaped egg for your bagel. And your sizzling bacon from before. Put on your remaining bagel top and it's done! Breakfast on the go for the busy soul! Round 2 Smoked Salmon Bagel Let's do this! This bagel requires no cooking whatsoever. Start by slicing a few slices of tomato. Put it on the board getting ready for assembly. I like to slice some red onion for this bagel because I find it more mild than yellow onions. Plus, it adds a beautiful color to your bagel. Alright, it's now time to bring forward the star of the show, smoked salmon. Smoked salmon can usually be found fully cooked in the deli aisle. With this smoked salmon bagel, I like adding some capers on, an extra bit of tang. It's toasting time! Alright, if you're a butter lover, you know what to do to your bagel. Now spread some cream cheese onto your bagel. It can be extra cheeky and spread it on both sides as well if you like. Let's put it all together. I like to put the capers on the cream cheese so that they don't roll away. And you can sprinkle some extra parsley or some dried chives just to make your bagel extra fancy. Now put on as much of that delicious smoked salmon as you like onto your bagel. Followed by some purple onions which pairs so well with the smoked salmon. And lastly, top it up with a few slices of tomato. Put the lid on top of your bagel and there you have it. Not only a beautiful, but tasty and healthy salmon bagel. Final round, turkey club bagel. Time to take it home. Craving a turkey sandwich? Why not make it a turkey BLT bagel? Start off with some turkey from the deli, followed by your favorite sliced cheese. Some bacon that we cooked from before, and don't forget our beautiful lettuce and tomato. It's toasting time! Let's bring this turkey bagel club to life. Butter your bagel if you like. If you want your bagel to be extra moist, add a thin layer of mayonnaise. This is totally optional. Put on some delicious deli roasted turkey. We'll buy your piece of cheese, whichever flavor you like our no mess easy cooked bacon and finally for that extra splash of color some beautiful green leaf lettuce and some juicy tomatoes doesn't it look delicious what else could you ask for a beautiful colorful deluxe turkey club bagel and there you have it three classic bagel recipes that will last you breakfast lunch and dinner no more bagels waiting in the fridge. I hope you enjoyed these bagel recipes. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite way to make your bagels are.